Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just Divine Playing, Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode we did uh, a lot of side quests over here in Kugane, and today we're going to go and finish off any remaining side quests in this area, including one dungeon, which is going to be nice. Anyway, you are welcome, my foreign friends. How may this humble servant of the of the Lord Bugio assist you? Ah, so you're interested in Shiragane. It would, seem my, it would be my pleasure to tell you about the district. Ever since Kugane opened its arms to the world, the number of visitors continues to grow. And among those who come, no few remain here for, extend remain here for extended periods. Such lodgings, uh, lodgings are, uh, as are available in the city no longer suffice to meet demand. In order to address the accommodation, shor the accommodation so shortage, the Lord of Bugio has established a residential district upon the nearby Isle of Shiragane. Plots of land on the isle are being released exclusively to foreigners, who may build homes upon them as they see fit. Tidy solution, I'm sure you will agree. If you wish to learn more, I invite you to take this boat to Shiragane. There, you may speak with the district, of the district official and inspect the isle at your leisure. Right, so like, it's just saying like, travel to Shiragane. May as well just go in. No? Oh, I need to go talk to this guy. Actually, you know, since we can, I, we do have our free company estate. <laughs> May as well use that one. You can see it over there. I think in any case that's us ours. <laughs> yep, that's ours. This is our uh, a nice little home. Anyway, oh, I need to go to the district official. Greetings and welcome to Shiragane. Kugane is residential district for foreigners. You are a visitor to our shores, if I am not mistaken. In which case, congratulations. You are eligible to purchase land here and build upon it. So long as you have the funds, it matters not whether you do, or whether you do so as an individual or a group. If you wish to know about the process, the resident caretaker yonder would be pleased to assist you. And if there are any among your acquaintances who might have an interest, you would be grateful if you could spread the word. Right. That's it. <laughs> Quite simple, really. Ah, oh, there you are, Miss Ijin. So, were you able to learn uh, about Shiragane? Oh my, it sounds like a truly lovely place. Yes, I do believe I would enjoy it there. Your vivid description has quite convinced me of it. That locals are barred from purchasing lands, no object. I need but find myself a foreign husband. If you know someone, will you, you will introduce me, yes? Uh, bye. And then we have the Shirogane Ethernet unlocked. I mean, I didn't really need that. I could go there as Lin whenever I wanted because of the FC house. Anyway, let's go and uh, talk to the leave mate over here as a gatherer or crafter. Oh, I say, you're not from Majorzia? By the looks of it, an adventure besides. Marvelous! You see, I've been dispatched here by the Adventurers Guild to spread recognition of our establishment while helping us gain a foothold here in the Far East. And what better way to the locals' hearts than by offering them our aid through guild lives, of course. We already have plenty of work for those with the skills, and I hope we can depend upon yours as well. Kugane levies, now available. There we go. So we have those for, well, a reason. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, what else is there? So there is King of the Castle and uh, Songs and the Key of Kugane. I'm gonna just unlock these. We're not gonna do them immediately, but um, this is where you unlock the extremes. Ah, who should stand before me but the hero who shattered the shackles of oppression in Doma and Alamigo both? In spite of your burgeoning fame, I am honored that you should willingly share your precious time with this humble minstrel. If I may ask, how are you enjoying the forest? With its many charms, it is an easy place to like. Indeed, it holds a special place in my heart. 
Madame Sade is a second home to me, often as I find myself here on an endless quest of verse. And on this particular visit, the proprietor of this theatre chanced to hear me perform and took a shine to my work. One thing led to another, and a number of my songs were adapted for the stage. Such are the crowds, uh, such are the crowds they have drawn. I have since been commissioned to write pieces for a new production. It is not to brag, mind you. Nay, far from it. For though I am glad for the approval, the truth is I have been struggling to summon forth the inspiration with which to fuel my creativity. But of course, your recent exploits could well provide me with, uh, with the inspiration I need. Such events you must have witnessed, such emotions you, uh, emotions experienced in your struggle to liberate Doma and Alamigo from the clutches of the Empire. Though the tales have been doing their rounds, there is no substituting the first-hand account. Nay, I would see from the eye of she who stood in the thick of it and know the depths of her heart. I shall remain in Kugane while I, while I composed my pieces for the Muji Koza. <laughs> Whenever you can spare a moment, I ask that you regale unto me your recent adventures. And I shall see to it that they are immortalized within these halls. Ah, something heroic this way comes. How fair you then? As ever, I'm seeking inspiration to draw upon for my work. If any new experiences share, I would very much like to hear them. Talk about Lakshmi. Lakshmi! Ooh, what a stirring, uh, what a stirring story have you for me today? To lose her beloved daughter, not once but twice, first to the Empire and then to the Primal's false promise. That's all I can do to imagine the Kalyana Elder's grief. And as if she had to lo not lo not lost enough and able to bear the reality, she chooses to free to flee from it, making an offering of her soul to the Primal. It's a tragedy to rent hearts. My apologies, Lynn. I know full well that I asked you for a tale, but so private and, and intense a sorrow should not be made the subject of amusement. However, I would honor the memory of the departed with a verse. For her daughter's life, a mother mourned, but for the flesh, her soul was torn. For her daughter's smile, a mother yearned. Now from a dream, she may ne'er return. No, more cuts in. Forgive me if I have awakened unpleasant memories. Liberties may be taken in a tale's telling, but it cannot wipe away such sorrow that has taken root in one's heart. Nay, no more than abiding in a dream will change reality. Even so, we may pray for wounds to heal and scars to fade, and so pray I, a pray I shall, for Kalyana, for all those who grief, they may one day know peace. Amination extreme, now accessible. But that's not the only one. Ah, have you a new tale for me? Wonderful. A clash against the Kami of Legend. The words fairly write themselves. Yes, this would have done very well indeed for the stage, and I dare say even the Kojin would come to watch. At, uh, as this song is about you, however, it is only meet that you are the first to hear it. Lend your ears, then, to the tale of your furious encounter with Cesano, the Lord of the Revel. Upon eastern seas, three treasures join to birth the Kami Great, whose sacred blade strikes awe in hearts and cleaves the land in straits. From western lands a challenger comes, a hero from afar. Whose radiant blade sets souls ablaze and outshines the very stars. So, was I able to capture Susano's stormy grandeur? I drew upon my imagination to create more evocative imagery, but it should more or less line up with your with your experience. So much stormier than you recall. Well then, that makes it just right. On the stage, storytelling takes on a different dynamic, you see and it is common practice to favor the grandiose. But with your rising tale at its heart, I have no doubt that the play will be received with no less than a standing ovation. The full of tribute extreme, now accessible. It's beginning to rain. I'm kind of wondering though, like, can I talk to people in, uh, when I have a parasol app? I can. 
But it's probably gonna remove it for the cutscene. <laughs> yep. Well then, pray to not keep me in suspense. Shinryu, a being of pure violence, born of the torment of those who died for their homeland. The souls that longed for the power to smite the Empire. Little would, uh, little would they have imagined that this power would assume such a form. Nor that it would fall into the enemy's hands to become the ultimate obstacle to freedom, bound to the will of Xenos Galvis, pitiable man who feels not safe, uh, safe under the edge of death. The power to smite, the power to save, a desperate man did direly crave. High though the price, in full he did pay, creating a god where his dead body lay. The power to rise, the power to vie, a lonely man did madly desire. Forsook his flesh, for such was the toll, binding a god to his insatiable soul. Here we have two men who sought power, but for different reasons. One wished to deliver his homeland from tyranny, the other wished to fill the void of his solitude. Yet even should they achieve this goal, would they truly find peace? I suspect that only they would know the answer. <laughs> now you, my friends, you will continue your fight, will you not? I pray that you will again regale me with such accounts of your experiences. For as brightly as a hero's tale shines, it is not without its shadows. It is my duty, I feel, to share both with the world. The stirring and the sorrowful. As we unlock the minstrel's ballad, Shinryu's Domain. Alright. Um, so that now leaves me with that dungeon and uh, the other thing. Okay. Yes. Let's go and begin with the dungeon and then the uh, quest that has no... Like, I'm gonna queue up for the dungeon um, and then... Uh, do other stuff. <laughs> then the day us, thank heavens, I'm in dire need of a capable adventure, and I can think of none better. Local office officials have been working desperately to keep this confidential, but there is trouble in Kagane Castle. It has been overrun by a band of outlaws. What's more, they've taken hostages, a number of nobles, along with the Bogio, the Bogio, Kagane's highest magistrate. They're demanding the country's borders be closed off, insisting Kagane's efforts to establish ties with the other countries is folly. Why? If they ever had their way, I imagine foreigners, or Ijin as they call them, would never set foot here again. Under normal circumstances, the Sekisugumi would have taken steps to immediately resolve this crisis, but they dare not do anything to put the Bugio at risk. To proceed would require a degree from the, uh, from the Bakufu. Yet I fear there is no time to send an envoy to the royal capital and back. Nevertheless, they have done their due diligence and delivered a missive. While waiting for a response, they have also called upon the East Alana Trading Company in an attempt to potentially expedite the rescue of the hostages. As to why they would go out of their way to contact us, well, one of the captains is from Ulda. It goes without saying the repercussions of a foreign dignitary... Uh, wait. Of a foreign dignity coming to harm would be dire. Because the Sekisugumi cannot, uh, cannot act in an official capacity, they have asked for my assistance in assembling a small contingent to infiltrate the castle. If you would join our class, make for the aqueducts in the Rakuza district. There's a hidden passage leading into the castle, kept under guard by the Sekisugumi. Tell them I sent you, and they will explain what you must do. Let's... Uh, where in the heck? Oh, all the way up there, jeez. Oh, I we go. Yes, I did remove... I did callously remove my parasol. Uh, this way... I think I can... oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I think I can go down here, right? Yeah. And then this way. Let me run out with my katana drawn! Ha! Ah! Like a true anime character. I do like how they hold the scabbard down. That's a really nice touch. You were sent by the East Aldenor Trading Company. Then there is still a chance. Permit me to apprise you of the situation. The castle is presently held by a group of criminals under the leadership of a merchant named Kageyama. I believe his demands, uh, his demands to close up our borders as ludicrous as this seems are a vain attempt to eliminate what he, sees as, uh, what he sees as a threat from foreign businesses. If it were only him and his cohorts, I'm quite confident my men and I could easily ride them on our own. The problem, however, is his bodyguard. 
Our informants tell us he is a swordsman of great renown in the Hingen underworld. He demands exorbitant sums of money, defending his clients with unseemingly inhuman displays of strength and skill, uh, commensurate with the price he is paid. Your task would be to contend with Kageyama and his hired blade in the heart of the castle. With all eyes focused on you, they will fail to notice my men's intrusion to rescue the hostages. It shames me to ask this of a civilian, but if we are to save those people, I can see no other way. Kakana Castle is now accessible. I will be right back. Being a healer can be quite a nice little thing. <laughs> the insta is being one of them. Ain't nobody got time to wait. Not when there's a castle to rock. Japan intensifies. Getting to play level 70 flat mage. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Who goes there? It's your mom. Got him. Get thyself stunned. Do I not have this yet? No, it's not a seven set. Gotcha. Well, I don't know the blood of the year, right? Yeah, so cool. okay. <laughs> The lag, that's a nice name. I like that name. Also, Captain Restart. I like that it's a Captain Restart and the lag. Like, what kind of... What happened to make these names happen, huh? Man, this tank is... I feel like this tank just fell asleep and then woke up again. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling I'm getting at this point. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Ah. And then I'll heal that guy, because he somehow took a buttload of damage. I mean, probably because of the tank falling asleep. If I had to hazard a lot, yes. Kinky release! Failed to release his kinky. I don't really remember the pulse in this dungeon being particularly nasty. With the emphasis on, I don't remember. <laughs> also, the farther we go into the game, the less I have actually healed. <laughs> in terms of uh, dungeon content, or any content really. The higher content we go, the more that I feel like disinclined to heal. <laughs> My reasoning being quite, uh, quite simple, really. That is me just kind of being a little bit afraid. I know, right after all this time, me being afraid of healing. <laughs> for all the amount of hours I spent in this game. Anyway. That guy's gonna blow up. That's fine. Release. 
Yes, I know it's kinky, but you know, it's a joke. <laughs> the joke is kink. It's kinky. Some more Aram Reborn music because why not? What in the heck? Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that drop before. Give me that I <laughs> give me that so I can sell it on the market mark. <laughs> Even though chances are pretty high that's probably gonna be worthless. <laughs> oh well. It's the thought that counts. I really hate casting Holy. Like, I like Holy as a spell, but I hate casting it. It takes so long to cast. Understandably so, mind you, but... You see, if you know the logic of the thing, that does not make you like it more. <laughs> Kind either. <laughs> May as well go and try to kill this this uh, joy <laughs> or Yoey, Yowie. <Yowie. laughs> anyway, that's something. So may as well use my flowers, because <laughs> I have a heck of an amount of them. Let me go and use presence of mind and do some more damage. Jin Maru. He does a, uh, I guess, like kind of a tank restoration move every now and again. Nothing too bad. Then he does Clockwork Medium. He's gonna summon a couple of boys, and they are going to flip the panels in a line of them, and also Clockwork Rifle. Gonna be nice to this black mage and not hit their ley lines. I guess I'll give myself a reward. Or blackboard medium. Elite on mix. I do not remember. Okay, these ads just use line attacks. Or maybe they also just do normal attacks. Yeah. Da -da -da. Another group 
medium. See you later, shipboard. Right then, the next one. Also AOEs. <laughs> Everything happening at the same time. There we go. Bum. Bada bum. Bada bum. Cock off. Die, die, die! Oopsie. I'm trying to cast a spell, but the game is making it kind of difficult. I'm gonna grab this. Just want more seals. Nice that they grabbed some aggro from the enemy. <laughs> Good. As I should. Let me cast. Oh boy! <gasps> no! Ah! Shit! Yeah, they can't res me, so I need to run. Um, I pulled the aggro from the enemies. Being a little bit too eager, and I did not heal myself because <laughs> I was casting holy. Oh well. It happens. You see, if I was a better healer, <laughs> I wouldn't have died. <laughs> or if I just didn't attack him, then I wouldn't have gotten aggro, but that's kind of on the tank more than me. In all honesty. Why is that black mage just standing still? Or am I lagging? Am, am I the lag? Is this why this guy's here? What is that about now? Oh. I see, it's a mentor trying to give tips on how to play the game. I didn't even notice they were a mentor. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I made a mistake instead. I think I both made mistakes. That's that's honestly what it comes down to. We just both made fucking mistakes. This guy's cleave. Which is annoying as hell. Fucking ass, Jesus. They cleave, which stuns my cast uh, like which interrupts my cast, and then it makes things even better. Uh, they also do damage. I guess I could have used Benediction on Terry. But it's not a guy. <laughs> That's the thing though, like, I don't. I need to stop talking. I need to stop thinking right now. Whatever, nothing happened. Give it up already! Oh boy. Uh, actually, we can kill these guys before they do anything. Regen. Regen is so good, man. There we go. And he pulled. 
You've done well to make it this far, I'm, but I'm afraid you're Julian to you. Come, your Jimbo, we have visitors. Anybody who's played FF10 knows this dude. And maybe other games, I don't know. I've not played all FF games. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, I'm dead, you hear me, dead? Anyway, we have probably missed a mechanic or two because of early pull, but whatever. This is the, the most interesting one. He's gonna throw coins around, you need to gather them. The dog is gonna also try to gather them, so he's gonna knock you out of the way if he jumps to you. Uh, but the idea is to grab the money before the dog can grab it, because the more funds that he has, the more damage his attack is gonna do. Also, each piece of, uh, like, each pile of money gives you LB. So you can use a lot of LB in this fight. You're gonna be serious. Let me check my coffers. Meta Giri. Oh no. He's, he's using the power of the metaverse. Also, does the idea really like most of the things are pretty dang telegraphed, honestly. That is the thing that happens like in the later. I've, I've talked about this before, just like the, the later parts of this game. Everything is honestly pretty dang uh, like well telegraphed to the point that there's not really much for me to add to just the gameplay, especially if you've watched like. Every I would be very surprised if you watched everything. Uh, but if you watched a lot of the stuff, um, then you would notice... Uh, oh boy. Then you would already know a lot of like mechanics, except for very specific ones. You'd definitely be able to to notice a lot of mechanics, just by seeing them online. <laughs> There we go. He's dead. I mean, defeated. This man doesn't just die. Cuffs appear empty, Kakuyama. If you cannot pay my price, then I'm finished here. This castle is now mine, bitch. But please have mercy. This is all that I have left. Wow, no commendations. Thumbs up. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know I suck, okay? Let's see, what does this look like? Wow. Oh. Wow. That shit looks pretty interesting. Hmm. I wish it was diable, though. <laughs> AKA basically any moment I play this game. There's so many things that I wish just were dying for, because... Man. There's a lot of really good looking stuff. That would look a lot better if I could give it a proper color. But no! Also, I really should have just teleported to the big hit, to the freaking east of, like, Century Ether, right? Because... This is uh, quite a roundabout way. I'm drunk, you're drunk. Taking the big D, the big drink. Of course, what else were you expecting? A 
Ah, her to do. Well done, good lady. Well done indeed. You'll be rewarded handsomely for your part in this. As you know that I already guessed, Kageyame has been apprehended. His bodyguard, however, is nowhere to be found. I suppose in the end, uh, in the end, this loyalty lay only with Kageyama's coin. At any rate, the magistrate is safe, as well as the uh, as well as the old arm. What's this? Ah, I was not expecting to find you here as well, Lady Lilyju. Lilyju, I guess. I wish to thank you both personally for your assistance. In light of all that has happened, I thought it only proper she have an escort. So, you're the great adventurer who risked life and limb to save us. Uncle Olorita has told me so much about you. Hearing of your daring deeds was inspiring, so much so I decided to set out on an adventure on my very own. I've taken to writing travel literature, you see, and someday the whole of Eorzea will have the chance to read of my journeys across the realm. Yet never in my wildest dreams did I imagine my yearning to experience new cultures and customs would take such a terrible turn. Words fail to express my gratitude. Miss uh, Lilliji, we were quite fortunate that she was here to assist in your rescue, but it would be folly to assume fortune will always smile upon you, so... Your uncle... Uh, uh, to smile upon you, so... Your uncle is worried sick about you, besides. Will you not consider returning home? No. There's so much I have yet to see, yet to do. If I were to leave now, I would have not but this horrible uh, story of kidnapping to fill the pages of my journal. It would be irres irresponsible for me to give uh, to give my readers the impression that Ingashi is a land of savages unfit for traveling. As you might recall, there was a rather nasty incident in Uldah that even our dear adventure friend here was helping us to resolve. Surely you would not wish that to be the only tale of Uldah to be told in Kagane. All right, all right, you have your point. But why have you come all this way alone? Uncle Lorito uh, tries to keep me from harm, but he has only succeeded in smothering me. I tire of being constantly coddled. That is why I left. To prove to him and myself that I am perfectly capable of being on my own. If uh, if I know my uncle, he has likely requested you hide guards from me, whether I choose to return or not. Well, tell him that I refuse. Very well, might I ask then that you pay me a visit when your journey has ended? Lorito is not the only one who worries for your safety after all. Yes, of course. I will be sure to bring many souvenirs and tales of adventure to share with you. At last, my journey continues. Though there is still much to the, much of the world for me to experience, I suspect meeting the Warrior of Light will be one of the high points of my writing. Nod. Big nodders. We look at me. I am the king now. Right. And now we just need to do the quests with, uh, you know, no guideline. Except my own hoit. Uh, all the other quests over here are to unlock big things. This over here is on, uh, to unlock the Alliance Raid series. This is to unlock the... Uh, or like just go and do the Hildebrand quest line. And this is for uh, another trial. Should you choose to undertake this quest, you will receive no guidance from journal or duel list. Yes. Hey, stranger. Yes, you. The beady-eyed bumpkin with the oafish look on her face. I am going to cut down this entire town. Come and have a look at these paintings. I'm trying to find the places portrayed in them. Hmm. That's in the, uh, the boathouse. Uh, the young woman shows you two painting, paintings of scenes in Kugane. This is on the rooftops. Any fool with eyes can see they're both somewhere in Kugane, but for all my searching, I've yet to find either place. These paintings are dear to me, but if I'm going to ask for help, I'll have to lend them to you for now. If and when you discover these places, see the paintings back safely to me. Or it'll be hell's to pay. Use hints in the paintings to find the things. Uh, okay. I'm thinking I could in theory do this because it's just one little thing. Um, it's like similar. I, I would I would say that it's similar to a dungeon. Oh no wait, this is no 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 no. Okay no no no. Uh, it was not over here. It's in the Shiokaze Ossery then. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. Right. 
Let's see, shall we? Um, I think it's over here. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yes, he is. Of course. Happy Lin. You found a case portraying a beautiful bell painting. Right, now we need to go to the other one. I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> So, um, let's see, because you can see that over there, and there's like a little peg that you can see, um, I thought, in the picture. Uh, I know in any case for a fact that I can get on top of this roof, if I want to. Um, let me check again. Because the thing you can see is like a little peg over here, and then there's this thing over here. Uh... Okay. Hmm. I do think I need to be higher up there. You know, mm, I don't think it's up there though. That's too high. That is a little bit too high. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Or is it over here? Actually, nah. No. And it may not even be a peg, it can be something else, really. God fucking damn it! <laughs> oh, what am I doing, y'all? What am I doing? Not the blue belt painting, the other one. Yes. <laughs> Not ready yet, really. Uh, it has to be with a little peg. Let me just go higher up, I guess. Whatever. I'll be able to get a good view of it. Let's go in. This time, be a little bit more careful in walking this rope. Can't. Just yamp. Do the yampers. Me and the boys at 3 a.m. yumping. I think, I'm not sure if I've already been up here, actually. Because there is a, there's a few points up here, so. Since I'm on my way, may as well go and get it. Fuck. Okay. Yeet. And yeet. And yeet. Okay. There we go. <laughs> of course I can't get up here. There we go. Slash. Look out. No. Slash. Sit. There we go. The Bokairo in. Now let's see. Uh, so yeah, this is... Oh, I see where it is now. I see where it is. I didn't see, like, the smaller one over there. Please. Okay. <laughs> As I said, please let me make this show. It's in here. I am a god at finding things. Look at how good I am. We found both places, one on the Shiakasi hostelry and the other atop the roof of a building. I'm not of age to enter where ales and wines are poured, and I've no desire to go climbing the roofs, least lest I dirty my clothes. Small wonder I wasn't able to find these places. Right then, let's have those paintings back. They're, mem they're mementos of my mother. You must know, she died when I was when I when I was yet a babe. She painted them by her own hand. I have no memory of my mother, but father never missed a, missed a chance to tell me she was the most beautiful woman in all of Ingashi. 
He claims to have fallen in love with her at, fir uh, at first sight when he came to make his living here in Kagane. His family was opposed to their marriage, but they swore themselves to each other all the same, and in the end eloped. When I decided to come to Kagane to visit her grave, I thought I'd look for these places she saw fit to paint. I hoped they would bring me closer to her, to help me imagine what sort of person she was. I heard she painted them when she was of the same age that I am now. So what the hell was she doing in an alehouse and up climbing around the rooftops? <laughs> I've come to feel like Kagane is a sort of home to me now. Enjoy it, Wanderer. As I am. And thank you for helping me know a little more about my mother. Oh, there you go. Good, good. Right, now let's go and... Uh, well, I'm gonna end off over here, actually. I hope you enjoyed this episode of just how I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. And next episode, we're gonna go and do... The new king on the block. Goodbye.